Yeah, Candace, I'm sure everybody at home right now knows the feeling when you go and you get in your car and you see the lights on empty and you have to go fill up at the gas pump. It's definitely very expensive right now. And people who use these, use their car for a living, feel that even more acutely. It was kind of the American dream. The flexibility of driving rideshare attracted Paul Price a decade ago when he first started. I could break away and go to my son's baseball games or, you know, or take him to the doctor or go pick him up from school if he was sick or something like that. Um, and I still can do that, but it costs me more money to do that. Now with gas prices, what they are. Now the average price for a gallon of gas is approaching record levels in Richmond once again. Price says rideshare drivers were already making less money per ride, and Uber, for example, is only paying drivers 55 cents per trip to offset gas costs. If they lower the fares and give us 55 cents, that won't cover, what, a tenth of a gallon? <laughs> Guess that won't get me half a mile. I can't afford to take it unless it's going to pay me a minimum of $25 for a ride. And I get rides in here outside of the airport that are seven dollars, that are six dollars. And I just pass them by. I just ignore them. I won't take, I can't afford to take them. Across the economy, consumers are feeling the squeeze from gas prices. Experts say record diesel prices mean the cost of transporting goods is raising prices across multiple sectors. An increase in demand for gas and restrictions on Russian oil only fuels an already volatile past few years. You've seen cybersecurity hacks on a pipeline. You've seen a shipping tanker turn sideways in the Suez Canal. You've seen a freeze in Texas, the likes of which we haven't seen before. You've seen a global pandemic. You've now seen an uncertain situation in Eastern Europe. All these things coming together, normally they hit once, you wait years. They hit once, you wait years. But they're all happening at the same time. My acceptance rating went from 90% for the past almost 10 years to 30%. Price says he feels bad when he passes on rides, but he's got to make smart decisions with his business costs. But he can afford to drive part-time, unlike many rideshare drivers he knows. There's another driver out here that's wife, his medicine for his wife costs hundreds of dollars every time. Um, and it makes it hard for them to take care of their family. I mean, luckily, I don't have that. But if I did, if I did, I don't know how I'd, I don't know how I'd make it work. I really don't. Now, experts say they do not think that prices are going to go down anytime soon. So with that in mind, Price says anytime you open up your phone to order a ride, you should probably think about tipping that driver to help out with their gas costs.